for the past hundred years or more, Americans have mostly bought cars, filled them with gasoline, and driven them places. Get ready for all that to change. First, electric cars are coming on strong. Batteries are now better and cheaper to make. The Chevrolet Bolt and soon the Tesla Model 3 both get more than 200 miles of range for under $40,000. They promise to make practical electric cars accessible to the masses. At the same time, advances in computers, software, and sensors are bringing the dream of self-driving cars to reality. Already, many luxury models can largely drive themselves on highways and in stop-and-go traffic. That's easy stuff, though. The real challenge is driving on city streets and in suburbs where there are complex intersections and pedestrians. Companies from both inside and outside the auto industry are working on those problems. Several automakers have promised to put self-driving cars on the road in just a few years. They'll probably show up in fleets at first. Think self-driving taxis with a driver at the wheel. Once cars can drive themselves, car sharing becomes much more attractive. After all, if your car doesn't need you to drive it, why just let it sit in a parking space all day? For that matter, why buy a car at all, when you can cheaply ride in one that's just driving around on its own anyway? With all this going on, it's no wonder automakers and auto industry investors are nervous about which companies will come out on top when the future finally arrives. And it's arriving fast.